Hello everyone, uh, this is the last of uh, the videos on how to use the Trinity in integration within D2L. So I'm back within my teacher view. I'm going to navigate to my course where uh, students have been handing in work. And I'm going to go into my Dropbox where I've set up the folder for them to hand in their work to. Once I get into my folder, I can see that there's been a file that's been uploaded by uh, a student into my uh, Dropbox. When I navigate down to the student's name, um, you'll see that it gives a Turnitin similarity to this assignment. So you can see this student has uh, a very high similarity. If I click on the link here, lets me provide feedback and assess this item within D2L. If I click over here, what it's going to do is it's going to let me um, look at this uh, originality report and let me provide feedback within the D2L integration. So I'm going to click there so you get a, an idea of what this looks like, and it, it navigates me out to Turnitin. It opens that document up that the students submitted. Um, as you can see right here, there's the uh, the work that is 99% uh, plagiarized. So uh, you can see now that uh, I can just dig into where they got their information from. If you click on the this uh, match overview right here, it gives you the sites where the students got their uh, Got their sources from, so you can see that 95% is from earthnews.org, so that's uh, the section right here. And from there you can see that they did do some changes and some work on this, and so you can kind of go through that. Um, and you can provide them feedback within here using some of these tools, the feedback summary, uh, the quick marks, and the rubric form. And those are some different tools you can use to be able to provide um, some feedback. You can also provide students a mark up here more formally. But that's the way that you can view the uh, the originality report. Um, back in D2L, I'll just show you what another um, submission um, looks like. So this time I'm going to go to my uh, demo one where another student has handed in some work. Again, um, I would click here to see uh, the PDF and assess it or provide feedback within D2L. I'm going to click on the turn it in summary. Again, it navigates me out to turn it in so I can see their report. So you can see here um, that for the most part, uh, this student has done a really good job kind of uh, reworking uh, and kind of summarizing this into their own words. I can again click on this number and it's gonna show me the, uh, the sources where the student got their information from. So anything labeled with the number one is from that source and anything labeled with number two is from this source over here. And then from there, um, you can start providing some assessment. Uh, you can provide some um, grades in there as well. But that's a way that you can view um, the overview of what students have handed in and where, over, and where Turnitin is getting its sources from. Sometimes these documents can be useful to bring up if you have a high percentage of plagiarism um, to start a conversation with students about summarizing and uh, paraphrasing and turning things into our own work. And it can also be useful uh, to talk about um, providing references as well, because the student didn't really provide me any references. So maybe the conversation would then begin with um, talking to them about uh, where the references are. So I hope that uh, is helpful for you and your students. And uh, if you have any questions, don't be scared to reach out to the uh, TS Consultants account on First Class. Thank you very much. And goodbye.